Good evening, students. Today we're going to talk about consecutive numbers. Well, what is a consecutive number? A con because consecutive numbers follow a specific pattern, they can be used to solve problems. So, the setup for consecutive numbers is as follows. If it just says the word consecutive numbers, if it just has the word consecutive numbers underneath it, you're going to use this setup. X x plus 1, x plus 2, comma, x plus 3. So then the next one will be x plus 4, x plus 5, and so on. Okay? So consecutive integers or numbers, remember integers just means numbers, is all that means is you have numbers that are in order. Okay? So like, for example, 5, 6, 7, 8. Those are consecutive. They are in order. Okay. Now, if it says consecutive even integers, for example, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, then this is the setup that you will use. Okay. Notice this setup is different than the other one. Okay. So, what the setup is on this one is it's x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6. Okay, so this one is different than just consecutive numbers. So if it has the word even, you're going to use this setup. Now look at the next one. The next one says consecutive odd integers. So this one, for example, is like 3, 5, 7, 9. So those are odd numbers, so those are odd integers. So the setup, if you notice, is x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6. Okay, so that is the setup if it says odd integers. Take a look and you'll notice that consecutive odd and consecutive even are the same setup. Okay, you're going to increase by 2 each time. Now, sometimes... I mean, students get confused of why am I increasing by 2 when it says odd. Well, let's take, for example, if we have 3, what did I do to that 3 to get 5? Well, I added 2. Then if I had 5, what did I do to that 5 to get, I'm, I'm sorry, erase that. Okay, again, if I start off with 3, what did I do to 3 to get 7? I added 4. Okay, notice that x is always going to represent the first number. So my first number in this case is 3, so that is what x represents. Okay, so in this case, x is going to represent 3, So anytime I put 3 into x, that's what I'm going to get. So if I put 3 right here, my first number is 3. And if I put 3 right here, it's 3 plus 2. Sorry about the handwriting. If I put 3 here, it's 3 plus 4. And 3 here is 3 plus 6. So then if I add those together, I'll get 3, comma, 3 plus 2 is 5. Then I get 3 plus 4 is 7. And then I get 3 plus 6 is 9. So do you see how when I add by 2, I get my odd numbers? So now, what did you notice about consecutive even and odd? Again, they are set up the same way by skipping one number in between. Okay, they're set up the same way. Now, let's look at this one. It says the sum of three consecutive numbers... So I want three consecutive numbers. It's 24. So that means I'm going to set it up with x, x plus 1, plus x plus 2 equals 24. Because I wanted three consecutive numbers. So this is my first number. This is my second number. And this is my third number. 
Okay, so it asked for three, so that's why I stopped at x plus two. And it just said consecutive numbers, so I didn't skip in between. So now I just solve as basic. I'm going to add my like terms, so there's, remember, there's a one in front of all these x's. Okay, so I'm gonna add up all my x's, and that's gonna give me three x, and then my other like terms, plus one, and plus two, which gives me plus three equals 24. Now I just solve it the same way. Subtract three from both sides. That cancels, I'm left with three x equals 21. Now divide by three, and so x equals seven. So my first number in this case is seven, then my next number is going to be seven plus one, which is eight, and then my next number is gonna be seven plus two, which is nine. So those are my three consecutive numbers. Okay, let's look at another one. It says the, four, the sum of four consecutive integers is at least 126. Well, since we have that is at least, that means we're gonna use an inequality sign, okay? And it says, what is the set of the smallest four consecutive integers that fits this situation? So first, let's set it up. Since it just said consecutive numbers, we're not going to skip in between. And again, this is my first number, second number, third number, and fourth number. So there are my four numbers. Now we're going to solve. And it said, is at least, so is at least means greater than or equal to 26. Now we're just going to solve as regular. Combine your like terms. So I have x, 1x plus another 1x plus another 1x plus another 1x. So that gives me 4x. And then I have 1 plus 2, which is 3, plus 3 more, which is 6, is greater than or equal to, to 26. Now I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So I'll get 4x is greater than or equal to 120, and then I'm going to divide by 4. And so x is going to be greater than or equal to 30. So that means my first number is 30. My next number is going to be 31. Then my next number is 32, and my last number is 33. Okay? Let's look at one more. It says the sum, so we're adding, of three consecutive odd integers is less than 54. Okay, what is the set of the largest three consecutive integers that fits the situation? So, now, it asks for odd. Since it asks for odd integers, we are going to have to skip. So we have x plus, we have x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is less than 54. Remember, it's odd, so we had to skip by, skip by one number. So remember, this is our first number, second number, and third number. So now we're just going to combine our like terms. So we're going to get 3x plus 6 is less than, we'll get 3x plus 6 is less than 54. And then you would solve that. Now when you solve that, you would get x is less than 16. So that means my three consecutive numbers are going to have to be less than 16. So, they're going to be 15. Oh, and notice that 16 is an even number, so that's why it's not one of our answers. Okay, so x has to be less than 16, so we go to the odd number that is less than 16, which is 15. And then the next odd number is 17, and then 19. So, 15 is my x, then 17 is going to be my second number, and then 19 is going to be my third number. Okay.
because 16 is not an odd number, 16 could not be our answer. Okay. Make sure that you take great notes over this because remember you're going to be teaching your group tomorrow and also have your notes for when you enter because if you don't, you're not going to get the extra credit. Have a wonderful night.